After getting off to a 5-0 start on the season, the baseball team looks to continue their great start against Shawnee Mission South last Thursday. Cooper Kate has the highlights. Yesterday, your Ravens looked to accomplish the school's best start of the season in school history. Mason Green took the mound and led the team, shutting out Lawrence for six straight innings. Brady Slavens had a monster home run to put the Ravens up 2-0 early in the game. Brady Walker then stepped up to the plate immediately after Slavens and also had a big hit. Nick Hegarty followed with another hit to get two on base. Great job, Ravens. Let's continue to make this season a historical one. From Game Day Northwest, this has been Cooper Kate. At 6-0, the baseball team is off to the best start in school history. Keep up the good work, boys. The always dominant girls softball team planned to stay on top last week against Free State. Alyssa Clinton, Ben Blades, and Will Vest will give you the recap. The Lady Ravens softball team took on the Lawrence Free State Firebirds at Seaback. The Ravens had an offensive explosion, scoring eight runs to win it, while the Firebirds were kept to their lone four runs. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Alyssa Clinton and Will Vessel. Thanks for the recap, guys. The Lady Ravens soccer team looked, up, looked to pick up uh, consecutive wins on Monday as they took on St. James Academy. Last Monday, your Lady Ravens soccer team took on St. James Academy. Sophomore Mia Haig kicked off the match with an early goal to spark the Ravens offense. The game started to look like a win, but with 10 minutes left, St. James got their first goal to make it one all. Savannah Moxley had the winning goal with five minutes left. The Ravens played great defense and pulled away with a 2-1 win. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Cooper Kate and Nick Lopez. Now back to Gabby. For more on the girls' soccer team this year, here's Nick Lopez and Cooper Kate with a preview for the rest of the season. The Lady Ravens soccer team has started off the season at a solid pace of 2-2. Two two. In the beginning of the year, the Ravens had to face a very rigorous schedule. Sophia Latorella tells us a little bit about it. Uh, playing really good teams in the beginning of the year is awesome because you kind of see where you're at and where you're, and the different stuff you really have to work on to improve for later on in the season. It, uh, I prefer not to play easier teams in the beginning just so we can jump right in and see where we stand. The Ravens are still looking to battle around their tough starting schedule and want to cap it off with a win against a longtime school rival. Question. East is obviously our biggest rival. We have never beat them in like school history or it's been a really long time and so I want to be able to come out and play hard against them and beat them. Great way to start the season ladies. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Nick Lopez and Cooper Cape. Good luck on the rest of the season ladies. The Olathe Northwest boys and girls track team dominated the Olathe Invitational at ODAC last Friday afternoon. Senior Rachel Mayberry placed first in the pole vault and set a new school record. Senior Audrey Fisher placed first in the triple jump. Rachel Mayberry, Camille Barfetti, Bree Gary, Delaney Schaefer placed first in the 4x100 relay, and they are currently state leaders. Julian Lacey, Cole Morris, Trey Seba, and Braden Carter placed second in the 4x800 relay. Maddie Ryder set a new school record and placed first in the Invitational at the high jump. Five feet and nine inches. Maddie is ranked ninth in the nation in the high jump. Congrats to all of the Ravens. The Olathe Swim Invitational also took place last Friday. Alex Gable gives you insight on a strong performance from the Lady Ravens Swim and Dive Team. The Lady Ravens Swim and Dive Team hosted the Olathe Swim and Dive Invitational with 17 other teams, most of them coming out of the Sunfire League. Overall, the girls placed 4th out of 18 teams with multiple wins by Emma Wilmer, took 3rd overall in 200 IM and 2nd overall in 100 breast. Lauren Pugh took 2nd overall in 50 free and 4th overall in 100 back, and Maddie Fitzman took 4th overall in diving. The team will be back in action at Blue Valley Northwest later today at 4 o'clock. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Alex Cable now. Back to you guys. That's all we have for Game Day Northwest. Now let's send it back to Brooke and Ben.